Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Path of Exile! And I just remembered something. This is something that doesn't come top of mind to me, because it wasn't in the game when I originally started playing. And I haven't played that much more recently. But one of the things is, whenever you get a quest that rewards you with a gem, A, the gems that are presented to you are dependent on your class. Which means, for example, I never got presented with Melee Splash. However... What I forgot about is anytime you finish one of those quests, the gems that were offered, no matter what class that would have been offered for, actually become available for purchase over here. Look at all these gems. Now, Spell Echo should not be in the list because Spell Echo is not, apparently, is going to be the reward for basically finishing Act 4. However, we do have... Melee Splash Support, which is one of the things I keep talking about for, like, dramatically empowering our freaking Skulls of Doom. We also have the ability to get the Spell Totem Support, which we haven't gotten yet, and we can pick up the Arc Spell that we didn't take earlier, because I think we were taking a Minion Spell instead. Now, both of the Melee Splash Support and Spell Totem Support are red gems, which require Strength. 35 for this one, and 55 over here, partially because they're actually coming in at higher levels. Level 8 instead of, like, base level 1, which probably would have required less Strength overall. In any case, yeah, shit's gotta happen. Um, I did take the quest reward uh, at the end of the last episode. I was debating what golem to take. I was looking around, as far as I can tell, none of the golems uh, have a bonus that is particularly helpful uh, when playing a summoner. I don't think I'm going to be using golems primarily. Uh, I think I really will be focusing on the, uh, the summon raging spirit and probably with a specter support. But... The Chaos Golem, wherever I put him, right over here, should be relatively tanky. Of course, he does benefit from all of my minion nodes. Um, he won't be support. I'll probably, I don't know, stick him in like a, in a, in a onset gem or something later on. I don't know what it is. But I think he's going to be a big tanky dude that's going to help out. He does grant the, uh, the physical re damage reduction, which is going to be handy as well. So we'll see how that goes. But I got to get this stuff sorted out. So let's look at some of that now. Oh, the other thing is I didn't spend my skill point at the end of the last episode. I said I was going to look around the tree and figure out where we might decide to go. There are two avenues to look at, I think. Uh, the first one would be going down here. And picking up, there's another minion node over here. I don't think the minion re life regeneration is particularly critical, although it might help out with the golem. 15% increased minion damage is huge, and of course helps out with my flaming skulls. Um, Herd the flock, which gives my minions elemental resist, is fine. Does make my, I don't know, zombies or, or golems or whatever tankier. That is true, but doesn't actually increase the damage rate of my flaming skulls. I think I'll at least want to go here for the 15% damage increase. However, there's another way to increase the damage increase of my flaming skulls, and that is to grab anything here that increases the duration of my skills. My skulls are around for five seconds right now. I can increase their, their time quite a bit. This all in all would add up to 45% extra time, so they'd be here for like seven and a half seconds. And there's another one of those somewhere in here. I don't remember where it is, uh, but it's not that far away or that difficult to get. Um, hang on, I have I have the uh, the tail calculator open so I could do a search. Oh yes, it's down along the bottom node here. Um, right, these are totem durations, but over here is more skill duration. So there you go. So here's another 45%. So those would all add up to 90%, which means my skulls would be around for twice as long during which time they continuously attack. So that's quite good. I think... I think, I don't know why I have a chat all of a sudden. Oh, it must be people talking in the uh, the local chat in the starting area. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go down in this direction first, just for that 15% increased damage, because I think that's going to pay bigger immediate dividends than the duration. Although, I don't know. And it does require a few nodes to get there. Whereas here we could start getting the duration right away. This is not exactly the same as 10% more damage from the skulls, but it sort of is over time. Actually, you know what? Just looking at the skulls, this is the best way to increase their damage. Um, I guess the other thing, hold on, if I cancel that, the other idea is, is there an easy node I can pick up a strength? I guess that would have been strength over here if I decided to go through this path. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick up Might right now, plus 30 strength. I can undo this later on, but right now, this is going to make it a hell of a lot easier for me to run my red gems. Yes, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So what's my actual strength right now? 57, which means I can use both of these. Awesome. Only problem right now is I don't really have the sockets for it. I mean, <clears throat> well, that's not entirely true. All I want for my arc is arc plus spell totem. So now I can put down a arc totem on the ground, and that's going to be sufficient. And in fact, I really don't need to fireball anymore. 
We're going to see about that. I still want to be able to use this. That's my Lightning Warp. I want to keep that around. That's going to be okay. Ray Zombies, Flesh Offering. I mean, they're not being comboed with anything. <sighs> if I want to add Melee Splash support, where do I want to add that? I suppose it might be tempting to reset the colors on the Soul Dome and go for Blue, Blue, Red. Because then it can go Summon Raging Spirit, Minion Damage Support, Melee Splash. Does decrease the single target damage, but that will change as this thing levels up. Oh, well, no, that's not true. It looks like it does full damage to this, the main target. It just does less to the splash targets, which is fine. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to go for. So, let me go to my stash over here. We're going to try to recolor this. Uh, I think I've got to take all the gems out to do that. And you don't, it doesn't do anything special to have there, but it's easy to see. I'm just going to hold shift. I want two blues and a red. There it is. Not very many gems, like, or, or sockets over here, so statistically it wasn't going to take too long to do that. So now if I put Summon Raging Spirit, and Minion Damage Support, and Melee Splash Damage over here. Good. Um, increased Critical Damage. You know, the increased Critical Damage is really meaningless for us, and I was talking about maybe avoiding leveling it up, which I could just not level it up, but I'm going to go and free up a blue slot, and use that for the Veil Summon Skeletons. I'm, oops, right over there. I'm going to just get rid of the item rarity support because we don't really need that the same way. Um, so my Arc Totem on E, I guess, is fine. Summon Golem there. I mean, the Golem's really a one-shot deal. I don't have to spam R. Look, oh, minions have 27, 22 maximum life. Very cool. It's nice to have that information, actually. Do we have that? We don't have that with the zombies. Yeah, we have... Oh, it does tell us 1,200 life. Okay, that's nice. Quite a bit of health. You can see here the, the Golem is, like almost three times as tough, and actually considerably more so because it's got some extra um, defensive stuff going on. All right, this should shake up our power a fair amount. I'm going to go back to Highgate. I don't have anything to sell. We can go and open up this fence over here. But yeah, the melee splash should mean my, some, my skulls do wickedly more damage now. And, oh, actually, yeah, so the Arc Totem's not going to be that helpful yet. But next level up, which doesn't take very long, is going to take Elemental Equilibrium. So I can put down the Arc Totem like this, and every X seconds, presumably, I don't know how, uh, last 8 seconds, change 3 times, less cast speed. Yeah, I don't. I guess, yeah, it's just 30% less cast speed. Arc's got a pretty short cast speed, and we can, of course, combo that. So this is going to exist simply to um, proc Elemental Equilibrium and give people vulnerability to fire, which will increase the damage that we get from our Raging Spirits. Here's our Chaos Golem. That thing looks awesome. Has no duration whatsoever. Um, but, you know, gives us a buff. We get physical damage reduction. Brilliant. And it's just an extra minion. And we have a bunch of minions, and yeah, I'm just going to Flaming Skull, which now have the Melee Splash, which should rip through these packs a lot faster than before. Which, man, I could have I could have had this going ages ago. That is such a, a goof up that I um, I forgot that I could go and shop for these gems that I wasn't necessarily offered. It's also a good chance, like, if you end up picking the wrong thing from a vendor, it used to be a big pain in the ass. You'd complete a quest and you'd stress about which one you'd get. I mean, eventually it would drop again. But here, like, you know, all the thinking I did about the golem, <coughs> I did want to think because I didn't want to have to go and, like, change my mind and buy another one. You know, save a little bit of resource. But it really wasn't a very big deal. Um, artisan strong box. What does the artisan give us? Oh, I think it... It's just various crafting currency. Still, it would be nice if it would drop more. Fuck it. Just just trigger it. It's fine. So these Flaming Skulls, again, will AoE... They last 10% longer. Or no, I didn't take the 10% longer. I took the strength. I keep saying that. The extra duration will be nice. And, yeah, it's just some whetstones and things. It would have been nice to use something that says drop more, but that would have been it. I don't know if, our, um, if uh, quality or anything changes, because I think they're always just the whetstones. So getting more of them is cool, but I don't think it's worth wasting any resources to do that. Uh, I don't remember what kind of prep work can I do for this anymore. I guess nothing. Uh, I could raise a specter and a couple of zombies. There we go. Pre-launch some skulls. Plop this down. Drop down a totem. Just to say. There you go. And we can see it zap things. Doesn't do anything for us right now. But it's cool! It only lasts 8 seconds. It's not as long as I'd like, but it will spam the spell a few times. The elemental equilibrium we know is a very short, short duration. And I think it's better than me casting it. I think one totem followed by me just working on skulls is going to be sufficient. 
Orb of Alchemy. Nice win. And yes, we are doing so much. Our clear speed. Oops, I'm using the wrong hotkeys here. Our clear speed is dramatically improved. I need another golem and a specter. Thank you. We have almost a thousand pure life. Who the hell is jumping on me? Oh, just a minor. Okay. I thought he was going to be like a rogue exile or something like that, closing in on me that quickly. That would be very scary. <laughs> I should check, actually, again, to see if haste was a reward. I guess I can just check it on the wiki. I want the haste aura for my minions, because I want them to run around a lot faster and just generally do a lot more damage. Um, very soon, we are definitely going to like focus on probably just the specter. We'll have we'll have the token golem just, you know, we don't care about links or anything like that, but a token golem is going to be nice. Specters, I'll probably stop worrying about the ghouls. Just cuz it's starting to be a lot of babysitting, but I think it's mostly going to come down to uh, at some point we're going to need the slots for auras. And that's why we can't run all the things all the time. But yeah, I'm going to go and do some more shopping there again. Uh, hold on, let me check the wiki here. Uh for haste. Boom. Um, quest reward. We would get it. Oh, it should actually be in the list, actually. Uh, oh, no, no. Quest reward. It's not given as a quest reward. It can be bought after completing the following quest. Lost in Love, which we have done. Presumably, it doesn't specify difficulty, so presumably we've done that. So I can actually get my haste order now. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to keep going for now. But in between episodes, I'll go and, and shop for some of these things and pay a little bit more attention. I believe this one needs, um... I think it's green aura, so it may need a certain dexterity. Well, we're at 62. That's got to be enough. Hello, mine's level 2. Love the explosion of the skulls now. Superior detonate dead. Plus 17 quality. That's a lot of quality. Now, this is only level 1, so the numbers aren't going to be impressive. But yeah, it deals X number of fire damage, plus fire damage is as a percentage of the corpse's maximum life. And it gets increased cast speed because of the quality. Maybe even more damage, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> wow. I mean... It's something to consider. I mean, it sort of doesn't work. Like, if I'm detonating corpses, then that doesn't really combo very well with raising them. Is this a path? Ah, uh, it is a path. It looked like a dead end for a second. Um, but, I mean, that's okay. I could always switch over to a Golem SRS build. I don't think there's any of the passives that I've grabbed that are pure, like, helping zombies or specters kind of thing. Um, there might be a couple here and there, but most of the ones were taken because, yeah, they happened to, you know, give me extra zombie castings or this or that, but really I was grabbing them because they increased minion damage, which is what I'm looking for for my summon raging spirit. We could do a pretty radical transformation of our build and just blow up corpses. Well, no, because I think... Well, no, you wouldn't spam detonate, because there's never going to be that many golems. So the casting speed boost is really not particularly meaningful. It'll mostly come down to how many slots we've got. It's like, primarily we want one primary attack spell, one, I guess, sort of secondary attack spell, and then everything else is just sort of support and utility, which may or may not get paired with various things. <laughs> Pop you. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're ripping through things a lot faster than before. Oh, this is great. This is great. I'm such a fool for not having done it sooner. And yeah, I should probably run the Haste Aura. Which I think will benefit the SRS. Because again, I was I used to refer to them as, um, you know, targeted like missiles. But that's not it. They do get summoned. They stick around for X number of seconds. And they attack multiple times. So if they haste, they'll attack more. If I increase their duration, then they'll get more attacks. Because right now, still, with my current attack speed, I can keep about 10 around. Right? But if they have a longer duration, we can get our way up to, well, maybe 15, 16, depending on how many of those nodes I get. Actually, we're almost going to double their duration. So I can keep up to 20 without increasing my cast time. Uh, I am looping back. Let's try to avoid that. Maybe go this way. Hey, a little bat. Uh, I do need to summon some more minions. Ooh, what the hell's going on up there? It's probably a rare that hasn't quite triggered yet, which is nice. Alright, Spectre. Zombie, 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 zombie. Hammerstorm! Stop, Hammerstorm. Da -da -da -da. Um, no, I want more sockets. I mean, it could have, like, some crazy, crazy trait that then I could sock it up, but that's right, Spirit. Oh yeah, I remember, this is something that I, I, I've missed on multiple runs before. Like a little side quest that 
I just, for whatever reason, didn't find the spirit before. I don't know if it was added in one of the more recent patches. Well, by, by recent patches, I mean, you know, <laughs> anything in the last two years. Um, or if it's been around for, like, a long time and I've literally never seen it before. Um, the last time I played, basically. The last character I level up, my lightning switch. Yeah. I don't know. Do do do, blow up everyone. Oh god, the splash damage is so good. Could add melee splash to the uh, to any of my zombies, right? Like or any of my minions is what I meant to say. Uh, oh, do I not have? No, I still have my veil thing. I just don't have it mapped. Do don't I? Oh fucking hell! And destroyed here. No 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 no. Raise you up. Yeah, there's my veil skeletons. What do I replace on my hotkeys? Well, you know what? I don't need... I don't need the lightning totem right now. So let's keep the um, skeletons on there, because that makes more sense. Uh, let's get some zombies up. We've got specters. We've got our golem. We've got you. A good time to use our skeletons. I don't think there's any other prep I need to do. I can't raise anything else. So just get a bunch of skulls, click on you, trigger my skeletons, and then I get myself out of trouble. Especially since I'm being cursed like crazy here. Jesus. They keep, like, cycling the curses. Some of them are silences. All right, we got them. Weeping essence of woe. Like, totally woe, man. Still have this fireball. That's another thing that, like, do I really need that? Hmm. Um, zombie, zombie. We're going to get... The node that gives us life regeneration will actually be handy with that. Hello, Elrond. How's it going? What are we doing today? Defend the relic. All right, easy. Basically, I'm just going to sit in the middle here and uh, right-click. We got a... It's not timed? No. I don't see a timer, so I guess it's just going to be kill X number of waves. Man up a little bit. Do, do, do. And unleash skeletons. Just to make sure that everything is fine. But this is going to be a pretty easy one. Yeah, and the assassin is probably the biggest pain in the ass. It's interesting we haven't met the fighter yet. Maybe you don't meet him in Act 1? I don't know. Maybe it's rare to meet them the first time, and then once you've unlocked them, then you start seeing them more frequently. Look how much garbage is around here. This is awesome. There we go. Lovely. Alright, I still have a full complement of minions. Lovely. Boom. Mission complete. Oh my god, the AoE. Look at that shit. So good. And that's without having really leveled up that gem. I mean, we did buy it at, at rank 8, which is actually quite handy. All right, crystal veins. So this going to have... Um, right, no, this is another dungeon I have to go through. I'm thinking ahead of myself. Of the end of this, where there's going to be a waypoint and some branching stuff. Keep clearing this. Uh, hello, full foul slash. Let's go and bump a couple of specters. I'll respec a couple of zombies. I'm gonna do that and blink away. Guarded by a rogue exile. The rare is because they have such a higher chance of modifiers. I mean, I could ID them first so that I know what I'm getting into, but there's also a high chance that they'll have something that like insta spawns an event. All right, I think that's that. I'll just purge around the corner here. Specter. I'm gonna do another one because I was low on hit points. Get our zombie count up. Before we go further, uh, pick up... Uh, we're not going to use the field laminar. I don't think the knife... I mean, it could have, like, a bonus to... Um, to sockets, but probably not. I don't know. I'll check, I suppose. I don't think I care about anything else. That's... Interesting. We could re-roll the links on that. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm, if I get a, a five link, that's going to be huge. But I don't think I'm going to craft one at this time. Let's go and just... Oops. Plus one level of socketed melee gems. You know, that's kind of interesting, actually. Adds lightning damage and critical strike for spells. So, like, if there's some mismatch here. Um, the spell bonuses aren't bad. The melee one is interesting because this would give me plus one level to my melee splash gem. It wouldn't be boost the others, but... It does give me an option of moving, say, my SRS to a knife here and then moving some minions back here or something like that. 
I'll keep it sort of banked in case I decide I want to do a big change of how my stuff is organized because I might be interested in doing that. So my minion gem's going with the plus one, but at least the splash will, so not all is lost. It probably the most important thing to give the plus one level to is actually the SRS itself, as opposed to the support gems. Um, as such, and again, as a, on a weapon, I don't know if you can get plus minion level mods, but you can get plus two fire gem mods, which SRS counts as, or as fire gems. You can get a plus one to fire gems as a mod. So if we find one of those, then we probably will do that. Again, the end game is to get that on a freaking um, staff. That combo is with also like plus one to all gems or something like that. God, always with the magic mana flasks. Am I just missing all the magic um, life ones? I mean, it wouldn't put it past me, obviously. Another specter up. Zombie, or the golem has never died. It might die to more like um, bosses. And actually, it's getting a little lower on health, so let's go and resummon it. We are going to pick up a life regen node, I think. I don't think... We may already have one, but I think we're picking up another one soon. I'm not sure. Where are we here? Does... Yeah, there you go. Life regen. Which, I mean, it doesn't actually matter that much. It takes two seconds to resummon the uh, the chaos zombie or golem, but it's nice when you don't have to micromanage something else. It's funny. Well, you know, the, the, the golems and things, you know, mostly auto-target and do this. There's a surprising amount of micromanagement in this to, like, keep everything up. Whereas a lot more of your direct attack spells, I mean, you just, you know, right-click and move, right-click and move. You're not checking counters as much in between encounters. That being said, with the Skull's auto-targeting, that gets rid of a lot of micromanagement in combat itself. Pew. Oh, I lost a Spectre. Doom, and I'll resummon one as well, because he's pretty low on health. Go, go, Flaming Skulls of Doom! Hey, a Ruby Flask! We haven't run into these yet. So, this is one of the many flasks. There's, well, one for each type of resistance. So it gives you plus 50% fire resist. It is still affects your cap, though, because normally you have a cap of 75. But at the same time, it gives you an extra 6% max fire resist during that time. So effectively, you'll have a cap of 81%. Note, that's only while the flask is running. So only for 4 seconds will you have that extra resistance. But it's a good, like, emergency button in certain fights. We may end up using that sort of thing. It'll depend on our resistances, especially as we get into the next act. Uh, so, skill point. Um, so, duration or the minion stuff over here? I think I will go for the, uh, the increased minion damage first. Although I do like the duration stuff as well. And it may work out better, and it's closer to get, and yada yada yada, but there's just, mentally for me, I kind of just want to be finished with that side. I want to go off to that side branch, get the minion damage, um, and maybe the, the next one as well, although I'm not as, quite as sure. That's interesting. No, no, we've got better links, and I'm not going to craft these boots necessarily. They might be higher level, which means they can get better mods, but most of us save some resources for very high level, unless I start to run into problems. Amethyst Flask is nice for the bonus to Chaos Resistance. And again, we can convert those into magics or rares or whatever for extra modifiers. I don't remember if there's rares for the flask. Certainly magic. So we've got to make a nice little circle over here. So let's go and rush back to that end of things. <laughs> but yeah, the clear rates are feeling pretty good. That's 12%. Uh, but it's magic. You know what? Fuck it, it's fine. You don't need to fill up our inventory that much. Oh, dead end. Um, oh, over there then. Shoot. Okay, it's not too bad to get there. <laughs> There's the magic mana flask. Finding a lot more flasks now. I'm betting these other types were limited to drops of only certain eye levels, which we are now at. Which is pretty reasonable. Do, 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 do. Waka, waka, waka. Flaming skulls. Coming at ya. I do have my um, my veil skeletons. I'm gonna hold off for now. And then resummon some zombies. Spectre. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Potion. Go. 
Die, 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 die. Oh, someone keeps summoning skeletons. I see. Just sort of keeping all my stuff a little bit more occupied than expected. What? Who's... Who's being a pain in the ass? Oh, it's a skeletal shrine! I was like, what's this skull? It looked like it was on top of this this ghost, but I realized that now that's a specter. I, this guy here, I kept trying to kill him. <laughs> that's my specter. Uh, the past shall serve the present. Actually, that's going to be handy here. It's only rank one, which is too bad. I don't know if that affects the difficulty of the spawns. I suspect not. They have a bunch of uh, some type of charge on them. I don't like this position. I'm going to teleport over here. Just off the other side of the ridge. Oh, well, it's stairs, but it still gets me out of the way. Those are all my skeletons. Let's pick that up. If I can ever click on it. Trap cooldown support. Well, we're not a trap-oriented build, although it is quite cool. Yeah, that is a lot of skeletons. Between the ones I spawned, like, through my veil ability, the minions I had. Oh, there's a waypoint. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Trigger this. Talk to Lady Dialia again. You know, that's quite the compliment, not being a cockroach. Okay, so now, how's my inventory? It's fine. So I gotta go through Combs Dream and the, um, the Desero's Dream to get some components so that she can drill through this wall. I hate Combs Dream. I find it incredibly difficult to navigate around. It's kind of annoying, but I guess we're gonna have to do it. So we're gonna put a cut in here. Next episode, we're gonna start on Combs Dream. Um, I don't know why, I just get lost in it. It's another one of those where it's a little hard to see the openings on the side of the map. But probably because I'm recording it, I'll be a little bit more attentive, maybe. Since I'm not watching Netflix at the same time. Maybe that's the trick. Thanks for watching. See you next time.